IOC rejects defamatory criticism from Ukraine. Reuters, the International Olympic Committee on Monday rejected fierce criticism from Ukrainian officials, who have accused it of promoting war after the body said Russians could potentially be given the opportunity to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Ukrainian presidential adviser Mykhailo Podolyak at the weekend described the Lausanne-based body as promoting violence, mass murders, destruction and said on Monday a Russian presence at the games would constitute giving the country a platform to promote genocide. The IOC rejects in the strongest possible terms this and other defamatory statements, the IOC said in a statement. They cannot serve as a basis for any constructive discussion. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who last week called for a campaign to keep Russian athletes from competing in Paris, asked Denmark's visiting prime minister for support on Monday. In his nightly video address, Zelensky pledged to protect sports structures and the international Olympic movement from being discredited through the efforts of some representatives of sports bureaucracy to allow Russian athletes at international competitions. Russia invaded neighbor Ukraine on February 24 last year, saying it wanted to protect its security and Russian speakers. Tens of thousands of people have been killed and millions driven from their homes. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba drew attention earlier to the fact that many Russian Olympians had ties with the military, including by competing for sports clubs affiliated with the defense ministry. The army that commits atrocities, kills, rapes, and loots. This is whom the ignorant IOC wants to put under white flag allowing to compete, Kuleba wrote on Twitter. Russia has denied allegations that its forces have committed atrocities in Ukraine. The IOC said last week that it welcomed a proposal from the Olympic Council of Asia for Russian and Belarusian athletes to have the chance to compete in Asia. That could potentially also include Olympic qualifying events, given Russian and Belarusian athletes are unable to compete in Europe due to various restrictions and bans as well as opposition caused by Russia's invasion. The IOC added then, however, that each sport federation was the sole authority for its international competitions. The Russian Foreign Ministry has said any attempt to squeeze Moscow out of international sport because of what it calls its special military operation in Ukraine is doomed to fail. Reporting by Pavel Politiak and Tom Bomforth, writing by Gabriel Tetralt-Farber and Ron Popsky, editing by Grant McCool.